I am a 35 year old single woman and I know I'm not the only one that's in their mid 30s who's single even though it does feel like it sometimes. I wanted to bring up some comments that I do receive. Like for example, I was out last weekend and some guy asked me how old I was. I told him 35 and he said something like, well don't you think it's time to start having babies, no? No, a comment like that I maybe would have brushed off a little bit more if I didn't want kids at all but I think it kind of stings a little bit because the fact that I've always dreamed of being a mother, sometimes these comments are actually being made by men. And for the most part, a lot of the girls, when they find out I'm 35 and single and they have kids, they'll be like, oh, girl, wait as long as you can before you have kids. This goes back to society's expectations of women and the only way to be fulfilled in life is to have kids and to be married. Of course I do want that for myself, but you know, if it's not in the cards for me right now, it's not in the cards. I think that society puts an expectation and pressure on women to be a certain age and you know, to have kids and to be married. It's really hard to like not compare your life to other people at times. You feel like you're kind of behind on life. But when I was in my 20s, I always thought that I'd be married and have kids at the age of 35. And I'm not. And that's okay. Life doesn't happen sometimes the way that we hoped it would. I think what's so frustrating is when, when people start to feel sorry for you and then they make comments like, oh, what's the red flag? Or isn't it time to start having babies? I could have settled years ago and had kids, but it probably would have been with the wrong person. I'm not the only one who's in their 30s and frustrated with dating and feeling like they're never gonna meet someone, but don't give up hope. I'm very hopeful that there is someone out there for me. I know sometimes it feels like you're never gonna meet someone, but you will. Create a life for yourself that you're happy on your own. I hope this hits the right pages and I hope I helped at least one person. You see this whole create a life on your own, see? This whole thing that women tell each other that they've been taught is making them miserable. You got women saying, oh, you're 35, just keep waiting forever. At 35, you're at high-risk pregnancy, geriatric risk pregnancy. You ladies need to look that up. You've confused yourself thinking that you have all the time in the world, but you don't. And what happens is you waste all of your prime years being so picky and so choosy with men that you just dismiss all of these men that are good for you because you're looking for the perfect carbon copy, cookie cutter men that have the same height, that have the same income, that have the same type of body, that lets you get away with whatever you want to get away with. And you never find them because all women want the same guy. Of course, guys are going to be like, well, you're 35 years old. You're an attractive woman. You definitely were more attractive when you were younger. Why don't you have these things? Why don't you have this family? Why don't you have these kids that you say you want? It's because women are constantly in their own way and they lie to each other. Just like this woman says that her friends are like, oh, you know, just just wait, just wait. Women are jealous of each other. Women are in competition with each other. You guys think because you're all up under this umbrella called women that all women care about you, that all women have your best interests at heart. The fact is that women don't are not necessarily happy for other women. Some people are misery that loves company and they will tell you and everything you need to hear with a smile, knowing that it's not in your best interests. You see, you've waited too long. You're 35 years old. Not only are you 35 years old, but you're set in your ways. A lot of men don't want to deal with that. There's a lot of firsts that men want to experience with women. But when you're so experienced, you know, you've done all these things. What can men actually experience with you? There's pretty much nothing there. So if you continue to wait till you're 35, 40 years old, and then all of a sudden say, oh, I want a child, I want a family, it's too late. Why would a man pick you at that age with all that experience when he can go out there and find someone that's younger? That doesn't have all of that. That doesn't have all that baggage. That's what you ladies need to understand. And please, for the love of everything, stop listening to other women just because they are women. Just because they are women, that does not mean that they have your best interest at heart. And you guys need to understand that. Women will talk other women out of the best things for them because they are simply jealous and envious, especially if that other woman, woman rather, is more attractive than they are. You guys need to understand that. And I hope you listen because there's a lot of women like you that are attractive, that just waste time 
and they believe wholeheartedly that it's all about being happy with themselves. You're not going to be completely happy with yourself if you don't do what's innate to your DNA, innate to your biology, which is children, family, and nurturing. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.